The next man that I'm going to introduce is what we call baseball's comedian, and he's an American comedian star from the Friars Club, Freddie Broman. Thank you, Ralph. Rusty, Frank Sinatra, the abbot of the Friars Club, wanted to be here in person today, but he couldn't make it. And the reason Mr. Sinatra couldn't make it today he boarded a boat from Poland this morning, and he probably won't get here till Thursday. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Friars Club is one of the great show business organizations, does charitable work, raises hundreds of thousands of dollars for charity in the city of New York. And we're very proud that Rusty Staub has been a friar for these past 13 years. And in recognition thereof, we'd like to present this resolution of appreciation to Rusty Staub, whereas the Board of Governors of the Friars Club resolve that the friars express their grateful appreciation of the generous, friendly, and dedicated services tendered by Rusty Staub thereby contributing substantially to the success of the Friars Club. Now, therefore, be it resolved that a copy of this resolution, signed by the abbot of the Friars and attested by its dean and scribe, be forwarded to Rusty Staub. Signed, Frank Sinatra Abbot, William B. Williams Dean, and Freddie Roman Scribe. And Rusty? In addition, from Al Roth and Arnie Levine and all of the guys that I work for as the voice of the Bonds Men's Clothing Stores, a new wardrobe for you, Rusty, from Bonds. Rusty Stubb a great contributor to the Mets cause for nine years. And now to honor Rusty, a former teammate, Keith Hernandez. It's a great honor for me and uh, representing our team who love Rusty and miss him deeply. The Big Orange, who was a great friend of mine and everybody's. Uh, we have a plaque for Rusty. And if I can bring the guys out with the award now, guys, would you come on out? Black reads, his teammates presented to Daniel J. Staub for meritorious service, your friends, on the occasion of his day, Shea Stadium, New York, July 13th, 1986, and it's inscribed with all of our signatures. Rusty?
Boy, that is the Grand Orange, is it not? Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you now two gentlemen who have worked together to build this very fine ball club and this marvelous day. May I present to you Met Senior Vice President, Mr. Al Harrison, and the man who directs the operation of the ball clubs and puts the team together so well, the general manager, Mr. Frank Cashin. Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special day for we who work with the New York Mets because we are honoring truly one of our great products, Mr. Rusty Stout. You do know that whenever a true celebrity is recognized, we always have planes fly over in Moss, and we would do no less for Rusty today. We have here for Rusty, on this, the silver anniversary of the Mets, a silver special award for Rusty Staub that somehow, I feel, will make its way to a certain place at 73rd and 3rd where the product is ribs and baseball. And so on behalf of the Mets, Rusty, we would like to present to you this very special award. The silver bat always symbolizes batting championships and for the many, many base hits, for the many moments and the many, many memories, Rusty, there you are. We duck in between the roar of the aircraft, a very special gift on this day for Rusty Staub. And to tell you about it, the special assistant to General Manager Frank Cashin, longtime Mets executive, Arthur Richmond. Thank you, Bob. When I first met Rusty 25 years ago, I always felt he'd go a long way. To make sure he does, I am delighted on behalf of the New York Mets to present him with a one week all expense paid trip to Rome and the Vatican City at a date to be determined by Rusty. understand that Rusty will be looking around for some new pasta dishes to serve at his east side restaurant on 73rd Street. So we ask you, Rusty, to enjoy yourself. Have a wonderful time. But please, please don't eat too much. God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, we are indeed honored on a very special day for a very special man to introduce to you now His Eminence John Cardinal O'Connor, the Archbishop of New York. Thank you. Thank you. Rusty, Rusty, I'm only I'm here, here as a representative. The Pope asked me to tell you 
that he would be here, but he has a soccer game in the Vatican. However, when I was told that you were being given a free trip to Rome, I asked the Pope if he would accept a visit from you. He told me not only would he accept a visit, he will meet you at the airport. And if you take your mother with you, he'll come over and pick you up. Very sincerely, I know that the Holy Father himself, because of your goodness, your charity, your decency, would want me to extend to you his warmest personal blessings. God bless you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for a very special moment on Rusty Stob Day, again, the general manager of the New York Mets, Frank Cashin. Ladies and gentlemen, on this plaque, it says presented by the New York Mets on July the 13th, 1986. On Thanks Rusty Day to Daniel J. Rusty Staub, a classic hitter in the greatest tradition of New York baseball, presented by the New York Mets. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know of Rusty's accomplishments on the baseball field, but what few know is that this is a very special, a very charitable man. And it is the measure of this man that on this, his day, he chooses to think of other people rather than himself. This is the moment where you usually This is the moment where you usually bring in the new automobile or bring in the new boat, but Rusty Staub would have none of that. He has asked that whatever we plan to do, go to the Rusty Stop Charitable Foundation, where it will be used for educational purposes, for young people, and the myriad of things. The things that this very generous man does for this community and for the United States. And so we think that it is entirely fitting that on our 25th anniversary that the New York Mets, on behalf of Nelson Doubleday, Fred Wilpont, and all of us present to Rusty a check for his foundation for $25,000.